Hello, uh, welcome to my 3D Amusia channel. Uh, this part of the video series is called Blue, Creature Blue. And uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created my Creature Blue project uh, using Substance. I'm going to show you how I, uh, I did the shading for uh, the textures for my head, uh, the blue creature head, and as well as I'm going to show you how I created the fabric pattern in uh, Substance. Uh, let's get started. So this is my I might, I'm going to show the fabric as well. I'm just cycling through that channel. So, uh, so the file, it, it kind of looks like it here. You can see it looks pretty good. You know, it's not pretty bad. Um, so let's start from the head and we can go from all the way down. So this is my head, creature head. So I'm going to call it blue. And let's hide everything and start from scratch so uh, this is where she started so I created a basic material with nothing on it just like color metal and roughness and everything like it's super subtle it's not even showing up but it's kind of like um, since she's a creature you know I want to have like a skin tone because uh, skin doesn't have that much it does speckle to it but I added I know as I went um, so the next layer what I did so I had some kind of like uh, like a dark spots uh, wherever it's kind of like the cavity map. I kind of used the cavity map and added like some kind of dark dark spots in her face. So this creates some kind of contrast between the light and darks. So if you see in the material, it's gonna look like that. And I also added like some kind of like a, a roughness to it, so it's kind of like um, has some kind of reflections and spectacle to it as well. <laughs> So once I have that, I want to add some color color variations on her. So I kind of used like a, a dust from uh, Smart Mask and I added some kind of like color variation on it. It's super subtle. If I go to, um, I'm going to show you. So once I add it, you can see it. So you can see it. It's really super subtle because I want to have different kind of color variations on her face. And um, this is another variation I added. So this is like using concrete uh, smart mask from here. So I'm gonna show you smart mask. I think it's concrete, one of the concrete or uh, dead complex. I don't know which one I used because it just says mask editor here. So I went ahead and added like a light variation because since we had like darker variations of my creature blue, I want to have lighter variations in the skin as well. So I went ahead and added some kind of like lighter variations so you could see. So if you hit M, you could see I also had a little bit of uh, spec, spec to her because it's kind of like a, it broke, it break the surface even further. So I added one more variation on top of it. So you can see this is kind of like more subtle. Uh, I think I used something called dust mask, uh, dust soft from smart mask. You could see it right here. And I had a little different color on it. So you could see like even in my layers, you could see different colors in here as well. So once I have that, now what I did, I went and painted the uh, different uh, kind of like a spots which illuminates on her face. Uh, this is kind of like a red one, so I, I went ahead and painted that. So this is a light blue. So I literally went and painted this. Um, so I created a blue and light layer and went, where is it, where is it? it's here. So I went to the mask and I painted like a uh, white from it and I did the same thing for this as well. So you can paint on your mask as well. So once I have it, I went and added a pattern. Uh, this is, it's kind of like, I would have done a pretty good job, but I went with this one. Uh, I should have used like, a, this is like an elephant skin or some kind of like animal skin. So I want to have some kind of like a breakdown on her. And so I used it, so what I did, I literally used fill and uh, painted an animal skin and I also had different variations in it. So because I had the pattern um, kind of like same so I went ahead like you know made like smaller ones bigger ones and I also added certain areas as well. 
And on top of it, I added some kind of like a variance in it. So then I went and popped my eye. So I painted my eye. So that's it guys. So it's not like super complex. So I just, uh, you know, that's how she looks like at the end. So even if you have these layers, if you don't like something, you would have, you can went and change something as well. So that's the best part of our substance. And this is the first time I'm doing creature and substance as well. So I'm learning as I go. But this is how I created my head from substance. So let's go through the, the clothing. Since I want her to have a geisha um, fabric pattern, so I kind of some kind of use some references as well. And I want to have like a velvet fabric and top. On top of it, I want some kind of like a golden pattern on us as well. Um, so I'm gonna go through each and everything. So I had like two materials uh, combined to make this pattern. So the first one is velvet. Uh, I thought of making velvet by myself, but it was really hard to do it myself. So what I did, I went to Google and and I looked for a velvet substance paint, uh, velvet substance material. So I got this is a decent uh, velvet. Um, material I got from I think it's free I don't know the author name but I give credits to him as well so it's a smart material and I have it here so I just put it in there and it has a lot of variations in it so this is where it started so I started with base and I have some kind of like a little bit of variations in it then added my fabric pattern and I used the pattern from uh, I, I usually added the fabric pattern from uh, substance itself and it comes with the material itself so I went there like you know made my UV scale 200 to match the fabric pattern then what I did I added some white noise because fabric has this kind of white noise in it so after that I added some kind of dirt and I think dirt wasn't there, I believe, because I want to have some kind of like a actually clothing kind of have like a little bit of dirt in it. And since she is Gisha, I want to have like some kind of like a little bit of dirtiness in her material. And after that, I had like roughness refine. And I don't know what this does, but this was added by the author, so I just let it go. Uh, so once I had that. So now I created this. So now what I want to do is I want to create a gold pattern on top of her. So how did I do that was? So I went to the material and I think I went to small material. I used this bronze armor material because it kind of gives gold, but it's kind of like old gold. That's what I wanted to have. So, <clears throat> so I went and uh, created a base. So this is my base material. So we could, you can ask how I created this like um, golden pattern on certain areas and certain parents it doesn't. I, what I did was I created a black and white mask and um, textured in Mari. So I took my fabric pattern to Mari and I made this black, this black, this black. Since I had this as a different UV, so I went and painted black. Black wherever I want gold, I painted black, and the rest is white. So I created a mask, and and I put it on top of it. So if you see the pattern is here, you could see it's like just a black and white map. Uh, let me see if I could pull this, so you guys can see it exactly what I meant. Uh, yeah, there you go so this is what I have uh, so this is kind of like I have a gradient so I grabbed an image from uh, Google and I painted all the way down on my fabric pattern and I also created some kind of pattern on my neck as well so you could see it literally here so this is the pattern right here all the way down so I plug in that map on the top and I went and fixed whatever I wanted and I added on a dirt on top of it 
to have some variations and I add some surface details as well so this is it comes with material sometimes I added one time like add some more details and I also add some edge damages as well because I don't want this to be super perfect and I want some kind of like a little bit of uh, bump in it and if you see it's kind of like popping out it's not popping in at the end I add a sharpened node to uh, pop my textures on top of it I also had like some kind of like a dirt material in it as well if I take that off you could see uh, this is super crisp and if I add some dirt you could see it kind of gives some variations on it you could see it become lighter as well because I want variation in my golden pattern as well so this is a that's how I made this uh, velvet and golden pattern in my fabric pattern as well and my creature red. And this is all about substance guys. So I didn't do anything like magical layer, it's like straightforward. But I created a layer so I could go back and I fix what I want and what I don't want. And if you have any questions regarding uh, the substance part, uh, please write me at 3 dmuser at gmail.com. And uh, if you don't know substance, uh, I have like a basic user interface and substance as well as how to create materials and smart material and substance as well so i will attach the link in the video description so you guys can take a look at it as well and uh, and thanks for watching this tutorial and thanks for watching this uh, blue project video series and if you have any questions as i said write me at uh, 3dmsr.gmail.com i will answer your questions as well and until then i will see you in the next project and thanks for watching if you like this please hit the like button and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions until then you guys have a great day